Hola y bienvenidos a un nuevo video de El Jesse. Hoy estamos de nuevo en 3 of 10 en el capítulo 4 si es que no estoy de la primera temporada. Así que esperando a ver que nos dé para este episodio, empecemos. Which one of you did this? Which of you talentless hacks messed with my art? Calm down, we'll figure it out. Only blood can pay for this. Heads will roll, tongues will be shorn from mouths. Guys, keep it down a little. People are trying to focus. Francine, you're the HR person. Do your job. I demand vengeance. Viper, whatever is going on here, I really don't care. Uh, you might want to check the latest build, Francine. I have to. Play it. Words cannot describe this atrocity. Okay, okay, fine. What's the problem? It looks fine. It looks fine. It looks fine. I'M SURROUNDED BY SAVAGES! Ah! Did you see the shark? Someone swapped it for a shiny next-gen 3D model. I didn't know our game could look so good. No! Not good! This is an artistic disgrace! You did this, didn't you, Kevin? Uh, I don't even know how to open a 3D modeling program. You downloaded it from the internet! From some random asset market store or something. Dude, there's nothing wrong with asset markets. You don't want to have to rebuild the same generic desk every game. I'm above building desks, thank you very much. I meant like a general you, like all you artists. <laughs> Shows how much you know. It only starts with a desk. Then, one day, it's your main character. Next thing you know, you're addicted to this stuff, and your game is nothing but stock photos, and pre-made environments, and royalty-free sound effects, and then all the stock assets rebel against their masters, and harvest your organs, and I've seen it happen! Hey guys. Nice work on the new Shark Viper. Looks neat. Gah! I'm gonna go floss my eyeballs. You'll get used to it, Viper. Eh, he'll be fine by tomorrow. Still, the art didn't just update on its own. I don't know. Sharks are pretty mysterious. Let us demystify this mystery pylon. You all knock yourselves out. I've got a meeting with Jeb. Is Viper just always upset about something? Eh. No worse than most character artists. You have to be careful with them. I wonder if I could convert this meeting room into a second storage room. Ugh. There's a reason no one plays these old games anymore.
Oh, come on. Are those all pylons bottles? I don't really want to play this thing again, but I guess I'm gonna...
Whatever. The shark looks good. Viper might be on the verge of using some four-letter words. We'll never hit our target rating if that happens. Focus, Pylon. We have a mystery to solve. Let's play again. Maybe there's a clue. I'm not sure why anyone cares about this meter thing. There's no way it's accurate. Hmm. More of Kevin's scribbles. Some waiters like this are just a quirk of working in an old building. I'm pretty sure locking a bunch of programmers in the basement is against some state regulation, but I'm not going to be the one to let them out. for little kids. No wonder all the developers like it. calm that idiot down. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Why does anyone ever ask you anything? I know Viper gets a tad pushy, but he's gotten so much better at using his words. Huh. A squirrel. At least she's not a cat person. I'm not overreacting, okay? Now where's my baseball bat? I'm hallucinating anger squirrels! Okay. I'm just gonna give you some space, big guy. This is Black Belt Betty. The Black Belt is in suffragette. Voting is sweet. open this fridge since that stupid creature moved in. Ugh, this thing is disgusting. anything from the storage closet right now. I need to talk to Jeb. Nice day out there. Jeb think he's the only one with a key to this cabinet. Yeah, there's no way I let Jeb keep anything important in these. Hey Jeb, you wanted something? Ah uh, yes, there you are. So, we have some guests coming by later this week. Important executives with even more important money in their wallets. Yeah, so? So, I need you to spruce up this office a bit. 
We're looking drab and too office-y. We need to look hip or, or artsy. This place needs to look so artsy that these people leave Friday feeling culturally outmatched, but ultimately warm and gooey about us. Friday? Like two days from now? Look, it's okay because I know you're good at your job and two days is a lot of time. It's not like tomorrow morning. Two days to pick out, assemble, and rearrange an entire office from scratch. All for some dog and pony show you gotta do? Why don't we spend that time on the game? These people are investors, Francine. They don't care about the game. They care about fancy, uncomfortable furniture and resin statues of things from our game. We don't have any resin statues from our games. Well, then resin statues from someone else's game. They won't know the difference. With no time. Really, Jeb? Like, really? What's my budget? Just make sure everything has a good return policy. You know. And keep positive. This is a growth opportunity. Right. So, two days. do this. I'm going to make the best damn redecorated office ever made. Morning, Ben. Lovely day, isn't it? Morning, Joan. Yeah, if holy shit, man. What the hell? Y'all know there's a big-ass dinosaur in the middle of the office? Not now, Ben. There's a mystery to solve. Detective Pilon shall emerge victorious. Yeah, Francine brought that in a few minutes ago. She's got a truck full of stuff outside. Damn it. If it's not one thing, it's another. Hey, Francine. Do you know anything about the dinosaur? It's kind of blocking my desk. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Impulse buy from the checkout aisle. We can move your desk. Uh, you mean move the dinosaur? I didn't buy that thing to put it halfway across the office. I bought it to sit next to it. Hey, help me get some stuff off the truck. There's more? Yeah. I just discovered the most amazing store ever. You won't believe how cheap everything is. Now hop up here and help. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. Okay. Okay. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. Seriously, did you really have to put the lamp all the way in the back? Okay. Okay. There we go. All right.
There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen the store, Ben. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Seriously, did you really have to put the lamp all the way in the back? Okay. 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 There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. There we go. Seriously, did you really have to put the lamp all the way in the back? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. 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 There we go. Do we need any of this stuff? That's not the point, Ben. Come on. Act American. Really? Come on. A knife with dinosaur? I could have gotten the 18 foot one. Okay.
Ok. 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 There we go. That won't work. That won't work. Something's blocking it. That won't work. Something's blocking it. Something's blocking it. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen the store, Ben. There we go. Seriously, did you really have to put the lamp all the way in the back? Okay. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. Hmm. Nope. All right. Seriously, did you really have to put the lamp all the way in the back? There we go. Okay. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen the store, Ben. Seriously, did you really have to put the lamp all the way in the back? Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Do we need any of this stuff? That's not the point, Ben. Come on, I 
perfect American. Really, come on. A knife with dinosaur? I could have gotten the 18-foot one. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go, there we go. Thanks, I really appreciate your help. It was a mess in there. Look, I didn't have time to be all delicate with it. I need to go back and get more. More? Francine, does Jeb know about this? Of course, I mean, mostly. He wants to impress some executives. With a crappy dinosaur. This is kitsch, not crap. The store is a godsend. They have wood paneled water coolers and cheap carpets and crepe machines. The studio doesn't need a crepe machine. The studio doesn't not need a crepe machine. Can you bring these things inside? I'll be back soon. Where did all this stuff come from? Francine found some new furniture store or something. Oh, is it cheap random assets and provisions? They just opened up nearby. I'm not crazy, Emma. This stuff looks bad, right? Well, it doesn't quite match the office style. Ugh, that sofa looks like barf from the 70s. Where did all this junk come from? Francine's gone on a redecoration crusade. You didn't notice the dinosaur? Wait, that's real? I thought only I could see that. Yeah, it's real, dude. Hey, can you see the chandelier demons too? Uh, no. Ah, crap. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out this store and see if I can talk Francine down. Ooh, can I come? They advertise on public access radio, you know. All right, well, let's go quick. Okay, so Ben, Viper, and Julie all deny knowing anything about that new shark mesh. That leaves Jeb and Francine. You know Francine pretty well, right? Could it be her? Uh, yeah. Well, we don't talk too much anymore. But I don't think that fits her M.O. What about Jeb? Jeb doesn't know how to turn on a computer. Ah, yeah, right. Any clues from the game itself? The new Shark Models file name was temp underscore shark underscore revision B underscore final underscore final two underscore complete. Ah, the naming convention of an experienced developer, I see. Don't we have a change log for things like this? Uh, huh? She's right. Our backup system tracks every change. We just need to get that change log from the engineers. Awesome, let's send them a note. Well, someone made us get rid of all our interns. No sacrificial interns, no help from the engineers. That's the rule. Unless we can find something else they want, right? Maybe we can bring them coffee. Everyone likes fancy coffee. Pylon, you're a tech artist. That's half engineer. Would an engineer like that? Definitely not. Not enough sugar. Chai tea lattes then? That might work, but someone still has to go down there and deliver them. I'd go, but the engineers hate me. And if I go, I'll never come back. They've been trying to recruit me for years. Okay, fine. I'll go. How bad could it be? Would you look at this place? It goes on forever. This is a lot more than just office supplies. <gasps> hey, there's a Tim Curry poster. I did not know I needed that. Ooh, and kettle corn. Everyone likes kettle corn. We're not here to shop, Joan. We're here to stop Francine from shopping. Why not just take her company credit card away? Oh, there's a yarn section. I don't know about that. I mean, she said Jeb gave her approval. How good are you at sneaking? 
Joan? Joan? All right, I guess I'm on my own. You again, miss? This is your third visit today. Do I need to cut you off and call you a cab? Spare me the jokes. Just ring me up. Fine, okay, fine. Yoink, I'll take that. Ben, what are you doing here? Give that back! It was Joan's idea. Listen, we're just here to talk. We don't need all this worthless crap. Oh, no, no offense. Nah, it's okay. Give it back, Ben. I've totally got Jeb's okay on this. Really? Jeb wants you to buy a cardboard cutout of a cactus cowboy. This place is incredible, Francine. I know, right? Tell Ben to give me back the company card. Ben, look around a little. There's gonna be something you like, too. What in God's name is that? It says his name is T-Pose Yorick on the tag. Give Francine back her card and let's check out already. Joan, you came here to help, remember? Look, that bastard gave me two days to redecorate the entire office. This store is the only reason he's getting anything. Now get out of my way. Ow! Huh, that was a bit extreme, Joan. I've never used somebody else to knock out a person before. Let's get him back to the office. Just so you know, this is probably a suicide mission, but that's okay, you can still go. All right. Just don't think about how dark it is, or about how the shadows call to you to join them forever. Uh, what? Okay, this is life or death. Now, it's important to not talk to anyone down there but the lead engineer. Yeah, no talking. That just riles them up. And make sure that they don't steal all your chais. You need to save one for the lead engineer. Here are some really dim holiday lights I found. You could use these to help you light your way. Are you sure you want to go? Um, no, not really. Well, it's too late to turn back now. We bought all these chives. Wait, how will I know which one is the lead engineer? Just look for the one with the most monitors. Engineers get their power from the number of monitors they have. You got this, Midge. Oh, man, my head. Joan, is that you? how we get back? Where's Francine? She's gone back to the store. Sorry I had to knock you out. You knocked me out? What the hell, Joan? Francine has a vision for the studio, Ben. I was blind before, but I see it now. And once you see what we've done, you'll see it too. Oh no. What did you two do, Joan? Have a look, Benjamin. Okay. Este episodio ya se hizo demasiado largo, así que obviamente lo voy a tener que eh, dejar hasta aquí. Así que esperando que les haya gustado esta locura de lo que sé que haya sido, nos despedimos. Así que chao y nos vemos hasta la próxima.